Greetings, everyone. Today I'll be playing Lunacid. It's an indie game by Kira, and it's a lot like old FromSoft games. And I'm very excited to play it. Yes. Oh, the birds are flying away. Spooky. They approach the moon. The crows are doing something. They're making a tornado. What is that? A creature. Long ago. Oh, they're gonna a say. great beast came from the sea and brought with it a poisonous fog that spread across the earth. Corrupting everything it reached, the poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now, grounded by the poison sky and outnumbered by creatures, Humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. Those deemed undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out. Banished into the depths of the Great Well. A pit of the diseased and undead. The Great Well is said to have but one door to the surface. The Great Well. I'm, I suppose we're looking at it right now. Ah, what a beautiful scenery. Wait. Are we here? Am I pulling the cart? No, I think I'm on the cart. Oh, that's me. I think that's me. him down or me I'm not sure I think that might be me I'm not sure about it though okay think I leaves my name or hmm, I wonder what name I'd like to use I usually like role-playing games. What would be a nice name for this character? Since we're doing dark fantasy, you know what? Um, we're gonna do the um, Helsing reference for the funny beauty. Oh. oh, we can even have a vampire, that's fun. All these characters look cool. I like the first one. Oh, that's pretty. I think I want that. Hmm. Oh my god, I just realized. That means that you can... 
put custom images, which I could I could like put a photo of myself or something, but that that would be kind of funny. No, honestly, I, okay, this guy that that's nice. I, I kind of like this. This is a really nice vibe. But now that I think about it, that kind of looks like Link. <laughs> oh. I wonder what should I do? Royal Cleric Forsake Oh a waste of flesh <laughs> Oh the the best best starting class in <laughs> games. Let's see. Okay, I think I'm a hidden figure from faraway land cast into the wells for their crimes. They begin with a little but are adept at finding lost treasure. Well, I'm good at finding things. A valiant warrior, steadfast and determined, albeit lost without a king. They excel at combat and find glory in violence. A witch, a cunning magic user, with a penchant for the dark. They thrive with the waxing of the moon and feed off their own lunacy. Vampire, a bloodthirsty creature of the night, awakened by the hunger. They are replenished by the shedding of blood, but weakened from fire. Oh, that, this sounds like a fun class too. Undead, a discarded corpse, unwanted by the world, a bar, yet highly resistant and stubborn. Yeah, that makes sense. Royal, a child of noble birth. Wait, I wonder if... I think this might be undead. Anyways, uh, okay, I'm getting sidetracked. Anyways, a royal, a child of noble birth. Inexperienced but well equipped otherwise. Their lineage foretelling of importance. Cleric, a nurturing healer on a pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well. They put others first for better or worse. Shinobi, a silent, deadly shadow sent into the well to assassinate. They care for not for the corpses left behind, only those ahead. Forsaking, a waste of flesh, notable for nothing, lest the dust it leaves behind. They have nothing to lose, driven forward only by self-loathing. <laughs> you know, that's always fun. You know, I think thief sounds funny. Like, fun. Because, uh, they are adept at finding lost treasure. So, I think I might be... I, I think I might be a thief. Uh, pronouns? Oh, they got... They got all the pronouns. That's cool. That's actually fun. Uh, I think I'll go with they them. Since that's kind of what every Finnish person uses technically, since our language doesn't have gender pronouns, which is cool. So I've always felt comfortable with they them. That's nice. Anyways, um, yeah, I think th this, is, this is funny. Okie dokie. Wait, I should look at the stats. I don't actually know what these do. Uh, Oh wait, oh they start They start low level. Oh waste of flesh is level one, that's even worse. Uh but I think Thief. Thief looks fun. And I love finding lost treasure. So let's go with Thief. Plus they're kinda they're kinda of low level. They're they're almost waste of flesh, except they can find stuff. And look at look at this. Look at this person. Look at look at this. This is how I look with Tatem pronouns on here. Look at they're so such a cutie. Let's go with that. Yes. Finalize my creation. Let me have a sip of water. Just a moment. Oh, my hand awakens. Okay, first things first. I gotta get check out my. Uh... Okay, so can I? Settings. Sensitivity. I need to make it a bit higher. This could be 
this could be it. I like having a sensitivity where I can spin my mouse like 360 on my uh, thing. I think that's about it. Okay. Um, and it seems like settings are on the eye. Should I increase the foe a little bit? The FOE. I mean, I like big FOEs in games. I think this is cool. Maybe a bit too big for this game. Sorry that I'm settings doing, but I just wanna. Bad thing about FOE is that it makes games less cinematic, like a high FOE. I think this is a good middle ground. Wait, can I... Okay, I have nothing right now. Can I pick up objects? No. Should I look at keybinds? More. Okay, I think I'll just go with the default settings. And I don't think I can. Anyways, what's here? Game manual? Oh my goodness! This is beautiful! <laughs> yeah, let's stick the manual. Uh, actions, yeah, attack, left, right, block, yeah, normal stuff. Shift, run, walk, use left hand magic, use right hand magic. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, button north, shop weapon, E interact, use quick item, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's actually really funny, that there's stuff like that there. Okay, so I have nothing. Alucard has nothing. I'm Alucard. This little plant. Hello plant. Hello skull. Hello plant. Hello uh, flower. Uh, oh, things do have physics. How can we turn this into an immersive sim, I wonder? Oh, is something gonna pop out? No. Oh. Let's look around. Is there anything in here? Still nothing. I hope I find a weapon soon. Okay, and a shift makes me... Oh. That's spooky. What's going on here? A, a blade? Wait! Oh my god, these flowers look beautiful. And also, they look like fallen princesses from Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That's fun. I got an item, so I should probably... Perhaps equip it. An expertly sculpted piece of stone made it to resemble the steel along the swords of the castle guard. Not an elegant weapon by any means, but better than nothing. Equip. Okay. This is my weapon. Huh. Wait, can I charge it? Oh, interesting. Is there a crouch in this game? Wait, let me check the manual again. It's so good that there's a. Oh, it's so cool that there's a manual. That's fun. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think there's a. Okay. What's this then? 
Save. Level up. Okay. Oh, I can destroy plants. Wait, I wonder if I can destroy the coffins from before. Also, I'm so sorry, plant, that I killed you. I didn't want to kill you. Um. Destroy! Oh, okay, there's nothing there. I hope I don't find a dev room or something like this. <laughs> like, I know sometimes devs hide items in these. Oh, ashes! I knew there could be something there. What did I get? Um, how do I access like my inventory inventory? Maybe this? Where's Where's my inventory? Materials, ashes, a forgotten with a rem remnants of a dead felony. Okay. Can I harvest these plants? Or perhaps these? What if there's something behind here? I want... Ooh, more ashes. I don't know what ashes do, but... Break that skull! Wait, is the skull wooden? I think I just saw a wood animation when it broke. Hmm, interesting. Can I get anything from these plants? Cutting the plants carefully. Cutting the skulls carefully. I'm so sorry, Mr. Skull. I don't, I really don't. Okay, their bar keeps going up. I wonder if this weapon has a durability or something. Weapon experience. I think that's what's going on. Am I leveling myself up by killing plants? Is this grinding? <laughs> ah. I mean, as long as it works. Yo! Die! Plant! Perish! Give me experience! Okay. I wonder which way I should go. Rock? Can I destroy rock? I don't think I can. Let's look upon this statue. It's beautiful. Oh, I can read it. Newest of the fallen. Take up your sword and fight. Understood. Uh, which way? Okay, the crystal is like pointing there. So I'm guessing this is not the right direction. Hopefully. Oh, there's wood here. Break it. Oh, this that's the hole, right? Ah. We're so close to the surface, yet so far. Oh, what's here? Seek the slumbering creature of the moonlight. They are the last existing door. The slumbering creature of moonlight. Interesting. So I wonder what's here then. I'm not sure which direction I want to go. Perhaps I'll go here. Hmm. Perhaps not. I don't think I can open this thing yet. Well, damn it. Give me experience. Oh, I have a health bar now. Well, let me just save real fast again. Yeah. Return. Well, the jumps are a bit floaty. I mean, that's cool. I like floaty jumps. Whoa! Maybe it's because I'm a thief. Hmm. I kind of feel strange that there's no crowds. <gasps> Pots! Destroy! Yeah! Ashes! Whoa! Pots! Ashes! Ashes!
ashes. Ashes. Anyone there? Okay, no. Yeah, nobody saw me. Okay, I don't want to jump down. Oh, the stairway is broken. Will there be enemies here? River of Death. I wonder which way I should head. Is that a person? Brother is dead. Should I try to just just making sure he's not alive? Pew 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 pew. Okay. I don't think I can destroy the body. I think I wanna go here. Check the corner. Another thing there. Uh, more people have fallen here. Same old, same old. A moment, I must drink water. Let's look around. I think I see a creature there. <laughs> My first battle. A snail? Oh no, I don't like killing snails. Ouch. Oh, poor thing. You know, I have a pet snail. So this feels kind of bad. I'm sorry, Mr. Snail. I don't want to kill you. Wait, what did I get? Ocean bone shirt. Shard. A small slice of broken ocean bone. Are you from the ocean? Mr. I must talk already. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's sit here. I feel like this will come alive. Okay, no. Hello, snail. Oh, it's so cute. I'm so sorry, Mr. Snail. So sorry, I don't. I'm so sorry. Two moons acquired. Was that a moon? Materials. Okay, I didn't get anything. Experience. Silver. Ah. Silver, and it was a moon icon. <laughs> Silver of the moon, I suppose. Lunar silver. I think that's what I'd like to call it. Uh, there's a snail here. It's eating. I'm sorry, snail. I'm sorry, my friend. Two silver acquired. Oh, is that the start price? Oh. Yep, so we're in a loop. That's great to know. Let's look around a bit. See what's in here. More sunlight. More flowers. Maybe I should break the flowers. They're pretty. I wonder if the snail was eating the flowers. Perhaps they have nutrients. Oh. I gotta read this. Temple of Silence. Hollow Basin. Let's enter the Temple of Silence. Wait, what? Oh. It's, I can just read it there for some reason. Why am I not even looking? Anything here? An eye. And some health. Quick items. A golden vial of blood that fully recovers the drinker's vitality, given to knights during the subterran crusades. These vials remain as precious relics of that time. Okay, I wonder how I can use those uh, quick items. 
Wait, let me check the manual because I don't want to spam the buttons and actually accidentally use it. Game manual. Okay. So, use quick item is two. So, I see. So, if I press T two now, I'll use the item. And, uh, Shift move backwards. It's, it's a turn. Um, um, okay. Uh, what am I doing now? Uh, yeah, I just want to check what Q does. Oh yeah, Q swaps your weapon. Yeah, I was thinking that. I think I need a key for that. So... I think I'll be heading to the Hollow Basin, and perhaps I will find a key there. Also, come to think of it, the door at spawn uh, seemed like a place that needed a key as well. So maybe I'll get a key someday to that place too. Okay, no enemies there. One here. Oh, this snail is so cute. I don't want to kill it. I'm so sorry. So sorry, my friend. I'm so sorry. You're such a cutie. I don't want to harm you, my friend. Oh, I wish to, we should be hitting walls. This is a FromSoft-inspired game. Just, just hit all the walls. Bonk. Okay. Oh, that's a blue snail. What if I just... Oh, it shakes a bit. Oh. Oh. Nice. Perish. Okay, no items. That's a blue snail. Hello, blue snail. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Let me hit you with that. Swoop. Oh, he's strong. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, he's escaping. Get back here. Ouch. He bit me. Oh, he's magical. Fucker. Oh, I can hit that. Oh, he's too, he's, he's too strong. What? Get back here. I'll, I got him. Yes! The blue snail is dead. Perfect. Uh, well, that didn't do much though. He didn't even drop anything. That's sad. Is there anything here in the end? Also, why did the snail try to escape? I hope I didn't miss something by uh, not letting it escape. Maybe it had something there, you know. Maybe it could have led me somewhere with the escape. Hmm. We are in a hole. A hole? No, on a river. Do we go right or left? I think we're gonna go. Actually, I wanna go right this time. Huh. That is a creature. Looks like an isopod. Making noise. Can I perhaps sneak up on it? No, oh, there's oh. oh, it's kind of cute. I didn't want to hurt it. Oh, even it's escape. Okay. I got him. Hmm. What an interesting creature. Ah, lovely waterfalls. I wonder what's over here. It appears to be an item. What could it be? A ring? 
ghost light. Oh, 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 oh. I think this could be one of those magic rings. Ghost light, yes. Conjuring summons a, spe a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 60 seconds. Useful for illuminating the depths of the well. Okay. So C and V are where I can put those things. So now... Oh, I can hold it down. Ah, hello, ghost light. Oh, there's another item here. Oh, and I lost some mana. Ah, a mana potion. Of course. With a little moon symbol. Oh my. Look at it. It's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's equip it to E2. Okie dokie. Hello, corpse. Nothing there. Anything behind here? No. You know, maybe I shouldn't have cast this thing yet. Because, I mean, I just wasted some mana. And this ain't doing much. It's gonna go away in 60 seconds. Well, it's probably been around 60 seconds already, so it's gonna go out real soon. Oh, here's another creature. Oh, it's still following me. Hello! Are you friendly? Boop! Aww. You're friendly! <gasps> oh my god, I got scared when it turned around. It is friendly, isn't it? I'm sorry for killing you, friend. I'm sorry. Aww. You're just a little creature. Maybe I don't want to kill you. If you're just chill like that. Aww. What a cutie. Hello. Hello. It's leaving, it's leaving a little trail behind. I'm so sorry for killing the one earlier. No, I feel bad about it now. Poor little thing. Hello. Chidity. Just chill like that. I think this is like the intended path, so I don't want to go here yet. Aww. I feel bad for killing one of them. What, what do they drop though? No, I can't. I can't be greedy. I don't want to be evil. Look at this cutie. It's so... It's a, such a creature. What's this? Oh, it's just a pillar. Is there nothing here? Punk? Nothing on the corpse? Nope. Nothing on the corpse. You're such a cutie. I'm sorry for killing one of you. I didn't. I, I thought you were hostile. I don't want to kill you guys. You're making such cute noises. I don't want to. I don't want to. Mm -mm -mm. You're so cute. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's that? This looks like a spot. No. Damn. This game needs multiplayer right now. Well, I'm both. <laughs> <laughs> this game needs online feature where you can write notes on the ground and uh, you're just gonna write hidden wall ahead on anything that's like moving. Obviously that's what you do. Oh, hidden wall ahead. There was no hidden wall. Anyways. Mushrooms? Anything here? No. Which way do I wanna go? I think I wanna head down there first. Blub blub. What's out here? Another health potion. Great. Yippee. Oh. Oh, did I hear something? I thought I heard something. Hmm. There doesn't appear to be anything over here. Oh. 
Hello, friend. I'm so sorry for hurting your uh, pal earlier. I thought you were always tired. Uh. You know, the fun thing about autism is that I feel empathy for literally anything. I mean, I kind of feel bad about killing those mushrooms too. I'm just... <laughs> There's too much empathy in my system. Before we go ahead, I like to drink some water. Splendid. Okay. Let's head forward. What can we find over here? Oop, is that a chest? Or a mimic? Or a crypt? Just gonna bonk it a bit. Okay, it's not a mimic, I think. Another ring! Flame spear! Let's take a look. So we have light on the queue. And uh, let's put flame spear. Summons a special orb of light that follows the caster for six stitches. Wait, I'm reading the ghost light. Flame spear fires a flaming javelin, a weaponized form of pyromancy created by Fire Witch Ashley. Fire Witch Ashley. Well, that's a character. So, now I have a flame ability on my uh, V. V flames and. You know, I, th I think I'm gonna swap those around because uh, C is easier to press, press than V. So let's go here and uh, can I drag and drop? Nope. Equip and equip. There we go. Now I have fight and seed. Who's that? That's a fe that's a person. Hello? Uh huh. You're pretty. <laughs> that's a really aesthetic look. I like the side. Oh, it's just a great silhouette. I love that character design. Hey, Ron. Hello. Demi. Well, you look a little lost. This area is called Hollow Basin. It's the highest reached point of the Great Well. It's also one of the safest areas of the Great Well, except, of course, Wings Rest. Speaking of Wings Rest, can I can spirit you there if you want? No. Okay. Well, thank you. I'll make sure to. <gasps> Is this the starting area? I remember that door door from the start. I think it is. Wait, let me try to spell out. What? Oh yeah, I gotta hold it down. Spell time. <laughs> Ooh, that's so cool. I love that. Let's, uh... Hello, cool character. Next screenshot. <laughs> Anyways. Use. This sends me back to the start. Right? I think it does. Let's take a look. Do, do, do. Perfect, 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 perfect. I can save here. Wait, first, can I level up? I can. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Oh, I have so many skill points. Strength. Let's see. Strength. Defines maximum health and damage done with melee weapons. Defense. Defines the maximum health and how much you can be blocked before your guard is broken. Speed. Defines maximum running speed. Dexterity. Defines jump height and damage done with ranged weapons. Intelligence. Intelligence defines maximum mana, spell damage and how fast spells charge. 
Resistance defines how long status effects take to wear off. What kind of a person do I wanna be? I love casting spells, but I also love sword fighting. Hmm. You know what? In games, the best thing you can do in like Souls games and in RPGs in general. I just I said Souls games for some reason. Well, this is a FromSoft inspired game, but it's not a Souls game because uh, FromSoft made a series like this before they made Souls games, so it's actually that. But anyways, um okay, enough rambling. Back to the point. Anyways, in RPGs, it's best to just level up defense like when you when you don't know what to do because that way you can just you know we can we can have more health maybe it's like a bit more mana let's, let's add a bit of intelligence I love casting spells but yeah defense it's always good to Level up defense. That's something you can just do. Yep. Level up. You know. I wonder if. Okay. Save. Okay. Now that that's done, let's see what we can do. I wonder if we had enough dexterity, we could actually jump up there. Maybe I should have put some points into dexterity. Can I jump down there though? Or will I take fall damage? I'm kind of too scared to try it out. Anyways, let's head to the person we met here. The horned fella. And ask for a warp. Hello, friend. Can you warp us? Hey, Alucard. Yes, I want to go to Wings Rest. Please send me there. I will take a sip of water. Wings Rest. Ah, there's a save point here. Perfect. Oh, I can activate it like that. Let's save. Can't level up, obviously. I just wanted to press the button. Watch this. Crystal shard. Inventory. Materials. Wait. It's not a material? Is it here? Crystal shard. A fragile shard of a crystal. By breaking it, the magic that is released surrounds the user and warps them back to the wings rest. Oh, interesting. I feel like the music is a tiny bit too loud. More. I think that should be fine. I want to put it a tiny bit down more. Like so. I think that's good. Now I can hear my uh, weapon well. And uh, greetings. Um, are you saying that it cut someone in half? So this is Wings Rest. It's an old temple of swords made by the sect of holy monks. They were banished into the Great Well back during the Crusades. Although they are long gone, their protective magic still lingers. 
Okay, I'm gonna take my time and relax here. And if I want to head back out, use the crystal where you came in. Salutations, Outlander. Welcome to the depths. I'm Etna. I studied the sacred art of alchemy down here. If you happen on any materials during your journey, you should bring them to me. Yes, let's look at some alchemy. Formulas. Created by Opal, Yellow Merle and Lotus Seal. Okay. Oh, I have one ocean shard. Thank you, that's interesting. <laughs> A Mr. Skeleton! Well, hello there, Sonny. People call me Clive. That's not really my name. I seem to have lost it. My memory isn't quite what it used to be. But my bones good. I stay young by drinking these little health tonics. Here's why you don't here, why don't you take some? You look a little mealy. Be careful wandering the depths. Not everything out there is as peaceful as a skeleton. Okie dokie, pal. Thank you for the advice. Do you have anything else to say? How you been? Be careful one. Yep. Yeah. Okie dokie. You know, maybe I wanna put my weapon down here. Let's see. Hello there. Oh my goodness. Are you a raven? Uh, that's so pretty. Hello. Oh, what a miss you being caught up in. Welcome to the depths, outsider. Escape to the outworld has been... Uh, has long been a myth. Ka ka ka! But if you're going to explore, why not prepare yourself? Fancy a new trinket, perhaps? Yes. Mm -hmm. Enchanted key. A bewitched key made from ocean bone. Able to remove the old enchanted gates that were put in place after cru the crusades. Rapier. A tin and a light piercing sword made by steel. Steel needle. A strangely modified rapier with a guard removed. Though quickly, though quick and agile, some defense is sacrificed. Crossbow, a basic ranged weapon. A health vial. A golden vial of blood. Yeah, I know that one. Wait, I never read the mana vial description, I think. A silver vial of liquid that fully recovers the drinker's magic ability. Made from the cranial fluid of magic adept beasts during the Bird of Magic. Oh, so we're drinking brain juice. Antidote. A small vial of detoxified poison cures to the drinker of any current poisonous afflictions. I see. Okay. What's this then? The moon. The moon cried to us in our time of need. Are you crying, my dear moon? I hope not. <laughs> Boxes. Oh no. Don't make me do it. <gasps> There's something in there. Opal. Oh, that's great. Can I destroy this? Money! Money! I don't hit the NPCs by accident, so I gotta be careful. Okay, looks like I can get some money over here, just by hitting stuff. What's this? Okay, nothing. Can I have some money, please? Okay, there's nothing there. Oh. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to end this recording right here. Bye bye.